So when we started all these companies at the same time, I actually made a mistake of growing too fast. And that's something that I've done back, I think, in 2017. Yeah. I started in the same time around uh, six companies. Including F&B restaurant, which is, I, I tell my, uh, uh, your listeners and uh, your viewers, mm. don't do that. Even though your business was doing very well. <laughs> really, really, I lost my personal life. I lost my concentration. See, when you're doing thing, one thing and you're doing it well, mm. don't lose your focus. I started around seven restaurants, seven cafes and restaurants, including uh, 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 frozen yogurt, uh, mishkak, a cafe, and a healthy uh, put, kitchen put, restaurant. Put, put me in your head, why? What, what were you seeking? I mean, if you have a couple of businesses that are doing well, <laughs> see, I have a big vision that I want to reach. Mm. There's something called wealth and there's something called rich, being rich. Then? I want to be wealthy. What does that mean? What's the difference? Wealth is generational. Mm. Rich is for you, Abdullah, to be rich and you can afford a nice car, you can afford a nice house. Mm. I want to build an empire. I want to have wealth that goes a generation. That, when you plan that, making a business for a profit of 2,000, 1,000 a month is not significant anymore. You want to grow faster because... I've been doing SMEs for more than 14 years now. Hmm. I'm, 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 I'm blessed, alhamdulillah, but I mean, I feel really, I've gained the experience, the knowledge, the skills. Well, during that 14 years, I bet that nobody in a job can get hmm. because hardship creates a man. Hmm. And uh, you know, being an entrepreneur, it's filled with hardship. Literally, I tell you, every day we put fires. <laughs> Mm. We just uh, put, out a, fires. put out fires. We, we, there's a fire in that business. There's fires in that business and just manage it. So it's not easy. You need to be smart and you need to manage um, these fires with as minimum damage as possible. And throughout this whole process, it, what, it's not just you, it's with your brother as well, right? Yes. 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 I have so I, that helps <laughs> definitely definitely yeah. my brothers um, I, I love them your brothers so it's not one brother I have uh, I have uh, 12 brothers and 12 sisters Masha yes. Allah <laughs> Masha Allah yes. two dozen <laughs> so I'm blessed with uh, a very large family how many of them are involved with uh, directly involved with your business uh, three okay three yeah. but that's more than enough because my brothers are a handful as well They're okay. just like me with double, maybe sometimes. <laughs> They are, uh, um, w w this is what the, the Hina'i DNA means. Interesting. <laughs> okay, We're I'm all learning. leaders. This is what they create us leaders. So yeah. we, that's why we fight so much. I well. would imagine. <laughs> I would imagine. Uh, so um, uh, our brother, my brothers are uh, giving a big support. But what I did back in 2017 was a mistake. Even though no matter how good your business is, mm. do not do not expand too fast. That was a mistake that I've done and uh, I admit it now, but it was a lesson that I paid for very well. And um, for me, as I told you before, I improvise a lot. I do opportunities as a wimp. I, forgot, I, forgot, mm. I found a, a cafe opportunity, I bought it and I started. And then uh, a, a concept for healthy food, I started and I went with it. Was that your pre a previous mindset or your current? Um, I still have that mindset, I will not lie. <laughs> Opportunities do come to me quite often, especially, specifically at this time, mm. uh, because I have a platform in social media, and I'm very blessed that platform is picking up very well yeah. uh, in my own Instagram account and my Twitter, and uh, a podcast called Coffee with Abdullah. Oh, yeah, I'm very familiar with yes. that. <laughs> We're like the Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon of, uh, do you know those two? Yes, I do, I do, I do. they're quite famous. I wish we would uh, be the, the, the same Abdullah level. Abdullah Hanai and Abdullah Ma'ad yeah. We'll be the Abdullah Swayze. <laughs> uh, so I started that podcast to host entrepreneurs and uh, mm. I'm getting very familiar with that community for entrepreneurs. I'm very blessed with that. Yeah. And I thank every one of them, or people who came into my show, people who contact me. I would love to speak about that. I'll leave, I left that for later. All right. I, I, you said something interesting. Do not expand too quickly. Now, based on your experience, how can you determine if you're expanding too quickly or you're expanding at the right pace? Um, there is a very, very expensive commodity mm. that you should always be aware of. It's called time. Mm -hmm. If you spend eight or nine or 12 hours in a business, means you're not doing it well. You're not doing it well. Uh, there is a famous saying called delegate to elevate. Mm -hmm. Delegate to elevate. I, just, I take it to my grave, this kind of saying, it's because if you want to grow a multi-billion dollar company, you cannot do every small thing in every company. That's not uh, um, possible at all. So you need to delegate as much work as possible. 
even though if delegating your your time means you lose some kind of profit, some kind of uh, margin that yeah. you you used to do it when you uh, do it yourself, but sacrifice that for your time because mm-hmm. there is no replacing your time. If you ask me now, Abdullah, I will tell you my hour. I can count it to the real how much it cost me. Mm-hmm. One hour it could cost me this amount because I broke down my time, and that was the issue. I uh, when I have six companies at the same time. I used to give uh, every company 90% of my time and effort. Mm-hmm. But then I used to give 5 to 10%. That was a mistake. And just I advise, maybe this is not a very uh, common issue between uh, entrepreneurs because most of them tend to focus. But I was doing so well that they wanted to grow very fast. I show that. Nobody listening. Ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody listening.